This is Elias. He was six and a half years old when he was diagnosed with leukemia. We were living in the Dominican Republic at the time. It was a really scary time in our lives for us. As soon as he was well enough to travel, we ran home, packed a couple bags, and hopped on an airplane, came to Grand Rapids, and right from the airport came to Holland DeVos Children's Hospital. From the earliest days of the pediatric oncology program at Helen DeVos Children's Hospital, the focus has always been on providing really exceptional care to our children and to our families. And from very early on, we knew that there were missing pieces. There were parts of the program that really could only be seen through the eyes of the patients and the families that were actually on that journey themselves. Uh, we asked them, what else? could we be doing? What else should we be doing as a children's cancer program? What did you miss? What were the missing pieces when you were on that journey with, with your own child? And so that was really the very beginnings of what has now become PORT. As you know, our families are going through the most difficult time in their entire life. So when PORT is there to step in and to provide um, assistance, whether it be um, a meal pass just to go down and get away for a moment, or um, the events that Port puts on for our families, the spa night for, for the parents or the moms, um, and the sibling um, activities that you have, because it's not just about that child in that bed, it's that entire family unit. The main thing that I see is just uh, I mean, the kids. They still want to play. They want to have a life. And they may not understand at all what they're going through, but maybe I can sort of help them find some joy in that in some way. I can support families in some small way to help them get through the day. There's really nothing else like port um, that we know of. Now, we've had different hospitals come in um, both nationally and internationally um, to look at our model and they've been able to go back to their hospitals and do a variation, but no one can duplicate what we have here at Helen DeVos Children's Hospital, and that's because of the culture that we have here. And that's what kind of sets Port apart, I think, from any other um, service, is that we are designed to work in partnership with the staff. So together, our highly trained volunteers and the staff create this force of support that just circle the wagons around these families during their time of need. Oral care for um, children that receive chemotherapy is so important because the bugs that we normally can easily fight off in our mouth when children are immune compromised, they can't as easily do that. And we, um, through the generosity of port, have been able to resupply if they are running low on a toothbrush or they lost their timer or any of those types of things. So it's, it's really, um, so important and it has actually decreased our central line infection rate which is can be a uh, life-threatening um, problem with our kids that that have are undergoing chemotherapy and cancer treatment. Some of the other services um, that Port provides would be making sure that our food pantries are filled. We have food pantries on the floors which parents and families can access 24 hours a day that have snacks and quick meals. Project Dream Room. That is a, a beautiful service that we provide for our patients that are going to be staying at Helen DeVos Children's Hospital on a long-term basis. What we do is we collaborate closely with the staff and we find out ahead of time what that patient's interests are. And we transform the entire room into a theme that that child would be excited about. When the child gets well enough, they can take all of those items and go home with them. The, the famous port care bags, to respite care, to sibling programs, to, uh, to Project Dream Room. It's just really gone on and grown. We've uh, been blessed, really, with outstanding um, program leadership uh, in Colleen Thompson and, and in her team, and with an outstanding board that has kind of um, 
repurposed and reinvented itself every so often and has brought fresh new ideas. We've checked back in with the parents to do kind of a reality check and see what needs were still not being met. Uh, and we've been able to, to reinvent and recreate more and better programs with, uh, with each passing year. Port was an important part of our new family that we got at um, the hospital. And you know, I've heard different people say they're the family you never hope to have, but you're thankful that they're there. When you make a donation to Port, your gift is going directly to make an impact in the lives of families and children that are living with a cancer diagnosis. Um, it's not going to pay the lighting bills or anything like that. It is designated dollars going specifically to the programming that Port provides. And it's a clean 100% tax write-off because of that. In many ways, I think Port is just sort of the perfect embodiment of, of, of a truly great community charity because um, it came from a very real need and the work that's being done by that organization every day makes a huge impact on the lives of children and families. You know exactly where each and every one of those dollars go. The stewardship is meticulous and the impact is great on the lives of our kids and families. Open up your heart and let your light shine. Open up your heart and let your light shine. Open up your heart and let your light shine down on them. Let your light shine down. Let your light shine down.